This is the point in the Mega Man series where I think Capcom started losing gamers. After a crazy successful first three games, by number four, it was pretty obvious what you're gonna get in a Mega Man game. So the folks at Capcom tried to breathe some life into the series by adding a few new things. And while the Mega Buster is a staple and cool and all, the rest of the stuff is just kind of a beating. Like, flip top. I think they also started to run out of robot names. Pharaoh Man, Ring Man, Dive Man, I mean, come on. Now one thing that was cool was the new power-up cutscenes where Rock gets equipped with his new weapons. Whoa! Awesome graphics! It was all Tron-like with its grid, and for the time, that was 3D. Very cool. One of the big draws for Mega Man 4 was actually that the main bad guy was not Dr. Wily. It was a new Russian scientist named Dr. Kassok. It seemed totally legit at the time. I mean, keep in mind, there was no internet when this game came out, so instead of Googling a walkthrough or an FAQ, you actually had to play the game to figure out what the hell was going on for yourself. Now what did you find out? Well, Dr. Wily was behind it the entire time. Of course. Alright, so you make it through the castle, beat the bad guys, blah 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 blah, beat Dr. Wily, and then you see what I think really pissed off gamers about Mega Man 4. The ending. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't kill me. Yoink! Out the door that he's right next to, and that's it! It's like the game wasn't over, and Capcom's just laughing. Ha 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 ha, Mega Man 5's coming, suckers! Give me your 60 bucks! While the ending is just stupid and crazy disappointing, Mega Man 4 is actually not that bad. But it was getting stale. Fast. 